get ready. Place in the final will be in the forefront of their mind. Well, this is what their lineup looks like. Look out for Prince and Daniel. And they will be some of the key players for them. Dwayne Davis is on the bench for them. Yeah, and that's how they set up. Of course, uh, Franklin Williams, an outstanding player. Corral to make sure, show up things in the middle of the park and plaza to strike. Frank Williams, of course, one of the returning players from last season. No Jaheim Faustin this year. Arima, though, well, most of their players from last season where they went 22 matches unbeaten in regulation time. And, uh, well, for them, they've got lots of familiar faces. Marfan, certainly one of them. O'Brien, who played for St. Augustine last season. Ashing, another key player. Wayne Shepard, the vice president of the Coaches Association on the bench. Yeah, and uh, in a 4-2-3-1, set up expect Stapleton to be the furthest man forward for Arima North secondary let's look back at how this match unfolded started here error from Ambrose recover from that later on Marfan service into the header over the top Trinity East didn't get a shot on target in the first half. Ashing, no and company. They were very, very menacing. Christopher over the cuckoo's nest. By the time the second half started, just one shot on target, but that would change. Diaz called into action. Keyboard Prince. And then Diaz, the busy of the goalkeepers in the early moments as Trinity piled on pressure. And Marfan's cross. And maybe that was a bit of foreshadowing of what was to come. But it was Trinity and Prince hitting the upright. And you just wonder what would have happened if that had gone in. But then this happened. Not cleared. Stapleton, luck of the bunks. And he would get the game's opening item. As the rain came down in Arima, that was 1-0 against the run of play, you might have felt. But there's nothing against the run of play here. Look at this. Ayers, firecracker. That got everybody out of their seat as it made it 2-0. And then for good measure, Oliveri, the wibbly wobbler, beating the keeper. And... Uh, Three, he could smile about it. And uh, at the end of 90 minutes, Arima doing the necessary, getting the job done as they walk away. 3 0 winners and secure a place in the East Zone Intercall final. Let's see what the numbers say. Certainly lots of improvement, particularly in the Arima North End, in terms of shots on target. Five on target, adding four to the amount they had at halftime. This game certainly a very physical game. 17 fouls committed by both teams. Trinity East being the main culprit. Possession, that belonged to Arima North. And the most important result, the score. Arima North winning by three goals to nil. Well, one of the men who kept that scoreline nil while adding a cherry on the top himself is the man he's standing by with, Oliveri, who is our man of the match. Thank you very much, James Saunders. Stephen Oliveri, you are our man of the match. Congratulations to you. Brought to you courtesy NGC, the man of the match. He's looking at the trophy and smiling. But a great moment for you that we really saw you smiling was after you scored that goal number three for today. What was going through your mind? Tell me. To be very honest, it was a mistake, but I'm still glad I scored. <laughs> and I'll come up with the man of the match and I'm grateful. Definitely. Now, last time around, you all played Sour North Secondary. You all lost 1-0 in the Premiership Division. But last year, in the East Zone Intercall, you all met in the semi-final round, and it came down to penalties. What can we expect from you and the team as you all get ready to face Sour North in the East Zone Intercall final? Hmm. Well, I didn't expect I win, because if we lost the first game, we just, no, no, we lost the two. Yeah, I expect I win now because we can't lose three times. <laughs> All right. Keeping the confidence up. Stephen Oliveri, our man of the match. Brent Sancho is with the coaches.